Hello again everyone, welcome back to Landric Plays, and today I'm playing Banished again. Uh, last episode we we were a bit worried about a food, um, food situation at the beginning, so we sort of piled everyone into um, production and food and uh, we got our first farms up and running, and now suddenly we are swimming in food. We have got <coughs> 8,000 units of food uh, kicking around, so yeah, so that worry is sort of over. I also um, uh, I did some looking up between episodes and it turns out that actually you can get by with just one farmer in a um, in an in an 11 by 11 grid so that should be fine so we can now uh, we can start growing cabbage here we can drop that down to one there we go so we now have two farmers one working each of these farms uh, so come spring they'll start working those we'll get even even more food so we can actually expand pretty rapidly now I also had a look at uh, pasture sizes so I've uh, sort of plonk down some little templates here. Cows and sheep both uh, do pretty well with a 20 by 20 pasture. Uh, chickens need a little bit less, so I've just tucked a little one down here. So hopefully we'll get those up and running before we get any livestock. Though we do have this merchant here, so maybe we'll get... There you go, speak of the devil, we've got our um, first uh, livestock merchant. So we'll... Uh, I tell you what, we'll order two. So I think in Banished, animals reproduce through spores or mitosis or something. So you, if you have one, you can actually still get a field full of um, livestock. But you know what, we'll get two just to be safe. Uh, because we are going to have to construct the pasture for them first. Are we going to be able to afford it? That's the question. How many units have we got right now? So we're a little bit short even for one. But we do have plenty of tools kicking around, so let's just up, up that to... Let's get almost all of our tools and... Uh, I tell you what, let's add an extra... I don't know. Let's add, like, basically all of our coats as well. Because it'd be nice if we can get those. Uh, early winter, so people will have collected firewood for their homes, so... I'll even squeeze in some firewood. Where's the firewood? Uh, and hope he takes that. Cool, so we'll invite those to go there. Oh, this person apparently doesn't have a house. That's interesting. How can they not have a house? Nothing's happened to any of our houses. We're not upgrading anything. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> um, uh, we'll unpause this straight away. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully our builders will get on that before we complete this trade. Whew, okay, so suddenly it's all go. Uh... Okay, we're definitely going to need to put down another house for this person. I don't know where... what's going on there. So let's... Uh, hopefully our vendor will start bringing stuff over here quickly. Uh, we can designate this for cattle as well. Uh, I think we can get by with just one farmer working each of these... Um, or one herdsman rather working each other sort of livestock patches. We don't pastures. We don't need two people for each one. We can get by with just one. Uh, have we brought everything over yet? So we not brought the firewood. We've not brought the. Th okay, no, nope, not brought anything there. So let's increase the number of people at the market to two. No. Yeah. So people will bring stuff to the market quicker, and then hopefully our vendor will bring stuff quicker to here as well. So in fact, I'm gonna up that to two. Just for now, I might drop it down later. But I don't want this merchant to leave. They do stick around for quite a while, but I do really want these cows. Because, you know, like having a little farm is going to be fun. Uh, so how much have we got right now? Ah, okay, perfect. Good. So we can afford our two cows. Uh, so what do we want to hang on to? So I think we took most of our coats, so let's... Drop that down a little bit. Uh, and then some of our tools. Cool, so we've got 40 left, so just because it's a nice, nice easy way to round it. There we go, perfect. So we've got two cows. Fantastic. Let's trade that, dismiss you, go to the inventory, and uh, actually we can probably afford to keep moving this firewood across, that'll be fine. The coats. I'm going to leave us 20 again. The tools, uh, so we've got two, and we've got some in storage. So I tell you what, I'll go for 20, and again, we'll try and start building up another stock of um, resources in here, just so that we don't have to panic as much. Uh, this is almost done. 
So here's our cows. So they're going to live here in this little, um, this tiny little holding pen uh, in the depot until this pasture's done. Oh, listen, you can hear the cows. Brilliant. You still don't have a house. I don't know why that is. Uh, let's also put down some roads here. And then we'll put pop like a house on the corner here. So, so this is almost done. Uh, we'll put one there. And we'll put another one here as well. They're still within that. Yeah, well within that range. Brilliant. Come on, nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. Hooray, cows. Uh, so I think we can we can safely decrease that to one. Uh, set somebody to working there. Look, the cows walk across all by themselves. I think they went straight through the river, and then they will happily live here. Uh, once we have enough cows, we can actually split this pasture and have uh, two pastures of cows as well. So we can sort of grow our... Um, we can basically grow cattle, uh, grow, breed. We can make more cows. Cool, so hopefully once we've built this house, uh, whoever's here without one will be able to pop in. That'll be good. Uh, and I think also what we're going to do is... Ooh, Nobody's working at this woodcutter thing. Let's uh, pop somebody in there. Uh, I think, yeah, we can probably start developing this town as well, because we've got so much food. Uh, we want to basically grow our population as quickly as possible to fill all of the, all of the extra jobs we're going to need to sort of maintain it. Sort of uh, the thing about Banished, it's very easy to sort of constantly, constantly grow. And there's so much space. Look, we've we've barely even um, scratched the surface of how much space there is on this map. And remember, this was only a medium map, so larger maps are considerably bigger. So we do only have one labourer left right now. I'm actually going to drop our gatherers down to nine. Just so that we've got a little bit more redundancy and I can sort of put some more people in building. Because suddenly we're not worried about food anymore, so... Everything should be fine. I might even put down another fishing dock and move some of the gatherers into that just again, just so we've got that sort of nice variety of uh, variety of food. Wow, look at that food graph. That's fantastic. What other graphs have we got? So we can look at uh, uh, just all the individual resources. So if we look at say, I don't know, tools. So yeah, there's some big dips where I assume we've just grabbed all of the tools and put them in the vendor thing, but otherwise it's steadily going up because we keep increasing the cap on it. Uh, production. This is uh, a good window. So yeah, produced 2,000 more than we used. Fantastic. Ooh, another, another merchant. Excellent. Are you going to bring me chickens? No, you're just going to bring me leather. We've got stacks of leather, but thanks. Come back any time. Okay, so given given uh, the state of uh, our situation, so yeah, we've got tons of firewood as well. Let's let's up that a bit more. Uh, let's unpause this. So it's quite expensive, and just like the quarry, this mine will eventually deplete, but it'll give us a steady stream of iron uh, until it does so, which is good. It will also um, so we have the choice actually between. Um, uh, we can use this to mine iron, or we can use it to mine coal. And then we can use the coal to build steel tools, which last a lot longer, and they're a lot more valuable. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm not going to bother. Iron tools are going to suit us just fine, uh, and if we're mining coal, people have a habit of using it instead of firewood to um, heat their houses, so it's difficult to sort of keep the balance that we need there. So we're uh, topped up on tools, speaking of them. So let's uh, move the excess over to the, uh, the trading post. And as we uh, increase our population, we'll go through the tools a lot quicker, so I'm happy having a slightly uh, a slight excess. Oh, uh, stored... Ow! Oh, we, we never get this warning. So somewhere, storage for produced goods is at capacity. Does it tell us where? It could be... Nope, it's not here. It'll probably be one of these barns here. Yeah. So this barn is full, but that's fine. We'll just shift stuff around from uh, 
from the other... Oh, wow, this one's full as well. Okay, maybe maybe not. Maybe we are just so full of food. I could put an extra barn up here. I could maybe put one... Oh, I should probably put one near the... Um, uh, near the farm, actually. That'd be a good idea. Uh, do I want to put it there or here? Can I squeeze another house in if I put it here? I don't know, let's find out. Not that everything has to be perfectly aligned, but I do like it to be. Ah, uh, so we wouldn't be able to squeeze it in there. Oh, we could probably pop it behind here though. Right? Yeah, lovely, that'll do. We can even move it there. There we go. Uh, and I tell you what, I'll put one here as well. Just so that we've got somewhere for um, all of our sort of livestock stuff to be uh, put. Livestock stuff to be put, yeah, good, good words. So again, our building projects are sort of going to stretch our builders a little bit, but we're in no rush. We can uh, we can expand like as we want to, and this is almost done as well, which takes a lot of labour. So it will um, free up a lot of builders once it's done. Oh, we got another merchant as well. Uh, what are you bringing? Uh, so you're bringing chicken, which is the meat, not the um, not the animals. So and we've we've got eleven thousand food now. So uh, as much as all of your food looks delicious, no, no, thank you. Come back soon, though. How's our quarry getting on? So still ninety percent remaining. So that's fine, and then we'll probably just put another one here when we're done. We'll sort of turn this whole area into like a little sort of industrial zone, if you like. What would be really nice is, um, so once the quarry is uh, depleted, you end up with just a big hole in the ground. So you can deconstruct this little tower, but the hole remains. It'd be kind of nice if it sort of filled up with water and gave you a little, like, sort of, a little, a little artificial lake or something, but that's not the case, unfortunately. You just end up with an ugly big hole in the ground. So yep, still complaining that storage for produced goods is at capacity. Uh, we'll get these storage barns up and running as soon as we can, and that'll uh, hopefully distribute some of the load. So we've got seven labourers who are sort of kicking around with not a lot to do. We are quite low on stone though, so I tell you what, let's put uh, up our stone cutters to five. How is our school doing? We've still got seven students, so I'm probably going to put another school down here. Uh, when this fills up with houses. Aha, some nomads have arrived. Uh, so nine citizens are request or nine nomads are requesting citizenship. Do we allow them to become citizens? So nomads will sort of increase our population very quickly. Uh, we'll have to build homes for them, and part of the problem is we don't have a boarding house, so we've got nowhere for them to stay in the meantime. They also have a chance of bringing disease, so We'll probably want to build a hospital just in case. I think for now, given that we've got such a surplus of food, we can basically take these nine nomads and then make them all builders so they can build their own houses. So let's let's get right on that. So we're going to put a house here. Uh, can we not fit a house here? That's kind of annoying. Let's move this one square. Uh, which square was it? this one. So we'll stick, squeeze another house there in a minute. Uh, we can probably put a couple more houses down here. So that's one, two, three. That'll be plenty. And we'll put some down here as well. So that's uh, just put down some roads so we can sort of see roughly we're going to build things. And we'll start building some houses. So we'll just put some one here, one here, and one here, just to sort of bootstrap this little community. So now we have 32, we have capacity for 32 builders, so let's at least top this up to, mm, yeah, 11 will do. So here are all of our nomads, they've just shown up, 
They're going to go uh, grab a tool, I imagine, from the marketplace, and hopefully they'll start building uh, these homes. So is this... how nearly done are these? They're about half done each. I'm going to pause these for now, so I know it's complaining about we've got a lack of storage, but right now I'm much more worried about them not having houses. So it's spring, so we've got plenty of time before winter, and even then they probably won't freeze to death. Probably. Uh, okay. There we go, so they're going to actually take a lot of resources at once as well, that's a, something I didn't consider. So we probably want to do some more sort of clear-cut collecting kind of things. So grab all this stone, uh, some more of this iron. Where is some more stone? There's some over here. I don't want them walking too far for it, but we are going to need sort of suddenly quite a lot of stone quite quickly. Is there any more over here? Not really. Uh, there's some here. We'll grab that stone as well. So if they don't have the resources to build it, they'll act as labourers, so they will go and grab all of those things. Hopefully it doesn't get... Uh, I'm sure what they're going to do is they're going to spread all the stone sort of evenly across all of the different building projects, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, that's how it goes. What else do we want to do? So, at some point we'll put down a boarding house. Uh, I think I said I was going to put that here, didn't I? Let's plan that out while we're here. So, housing, boarding house. Ah, of course. Yeah, so I can't quite fit it there. Can I fit it here? Yeah, I can. Just... So let's put that uh, there. We don't need it right now. Uh, I mean, I could, I suppose I could un uh, pause all of the houses and focus on the boarding house just so they've got somewhere temporary to stay. But, you know what, I reckon we can probably get some of these houses up and running. Yeah, we'll do it that way. So you can really get huge, huge amounts of nomads, like 24 at a time or something crazy like that, maybe even more. Uh, nine, but nine we can deal with. Nine we'll just put uh, down these houses. Oh dear. Okay, I am going to pause this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to focus on just getting these four up and running. How much does this take? This takes 45 stone, and it's one... Uh, actually, maybe I should do it that way then, because we've got the wood. Um, Alright, I'll pause you as well. I'll pause you and I'll pause you. Just because I don't want them spreading the resources out across these things, they might as well all pour them all into this. Two of you can go back to being dedicated labourers as well. Ooh, and we've got a trader, so let's see what the trader's bringing. Uh, bean seeds. I mean, I don't really want to say no to seeds, so let's see how many we can, uh, if we can afford them, how, how close are we to being able to afford that. Not that close. But again, we've got Plenty of tools kicking around, plenty of coats kicking around, so maybe we'll shuffle some of those over, or maybe I'll forget. Who can say? Uh, where are we? There we go. Uh, there we go. So we'll get our uh, vendors to start moving stuff across there. I think. Yeah, this marketplace got built, so we actually have stuff being stored in here, which isn't fantastic, though it does mean these houses are going to have somewhere quick and close by to go to. And it takes some of the load off, so it's not like by having somebody working and collecting stuff there, this is going to starve. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Uh, that house is nearly done. The boarding house will be done as soon as we get some stone. Yeah, okay, maybe I miscalculated by building a million houses instead of this. We're still going to want all of these houses for sure, because people can't stay in here forever, they'll be very, very unhappy. But it's now late autumn and we still have... Uh, we've got eight people homeless. Did somebody die of old age? Or did somebody find a house? Let's hope they found a house. Okay, there we go, so one house built. So four uh, of the people who are all part of one family join uh, this house, so there we go. So maybe we could get away with just one extra house. Uh, so I, yeah, I didn't really think this through, did I? I built enough houses for nine families instead of two families. Uh, oh well, it's fine, we're future-proofing. We wanted to expand anyway, so at least they're all planned out. 
what else do we want to build? So I mentioned uh, nomads will sometimes bring sort of strange and new diseases with them from foreign lands or wherever. Uh, so we might want a hospital. Can we squeeze one in just here? No, no we can't. Can we squeeze it in just here? Also no. Alright, maybe we'll expand uh, this road here. So the reserve of iron and stone is low. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. So maybe we'll squeeze it in here. Uh, I might actually want to sort of cut this stockpile in half just so people can walk across here. I don't know if they... oh no, it's alright, they will sort of walk across there if it's shorter. Or at least it looks like they will. That's alright then. Good, this is finally being built. Uh, so we, we'll have this in emergencies. Oh, nobody moved in. Did... Nobody suddenly died of cold, did they? They found a different house somewhere? Oh, some people did die of old age, so perhaps they um, that left a free house and they moved into it. Yeah, that was probably it. But, you know, future-proofing. We wanted to expand. We're, we are actually in a very good position to sort of uh, expand things. What was I doing? Hospitals, right. Uh, oh, and the trader who left. Oh, well, we've moved everything over there, so we'll be ready for next time. And then... Again, it's not like we're short on food, though it is kind of a shame that we didn't get those uh, seeds while they were available. Ah oh, well, not a problem. So something I might be able to do is actually build a tunnel through here and a bridge across as well, just to link things up a bit more. So we'll sort of build this hospital. Yeah, we'll put it down here. I'm not going to build it right now because it needs a lot of resources that I've that I'm sort of pla that I've sort of squandered a little bit, and I've used on all these things. Oh, that reminds me. You can go down there, uh, and let's start unpausing you. We'll unpause just the one there, and we'll unpause two of these down here. And you know what, while we're here, let's queue up a school as well. And in fact, I'm actually just going to let it be built. That'll be fine. So we still have a surplus of uh, labour right now, which is good. Uh, and because these are relatively cheap, so they're only... Actually, we are low on stone logs and iron right now, but... Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will move some of the labourers into woodcutting. Not woodcutting, uh, forestry. There we go. So now we've got our full allotment of foresters, so we'll get wood in quite quickly. Uh, and then maybe later we'll drop it back. Ooh, and we've got the mine as well. Actually, okay. <laughs> Ignore those things I just said. So let's drop those down to nine, and we'll bring this up to three. Uh, so yeah, we want the mining iron. I don't know why we'd want a limit on iron. Let's set it to 600. Is there a limit on stone? Let's put that up to 600 as well. Uh, do we want to put a stockpile down here as well? It might make sense otherwise it's just going to pile up on the side here, which might be fine, but it also might slow things down, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just put a... Uh, I kind of want to get a path through there if we can. No, it's fine, we'll go around that way. There we go. Let's we'll put a little stockpile there. Um, right. Okay, so that's been a kind of a busy episode, um, but yeah, it's going to be nice to sort of like properly uh, expand even even further. So we're slowly starting to build up this town here, uh, Mulberon Central or whatever you might want to call it, is definitely taking shape over here. Storage for reduced goods is still at capacity. That's right, because we never unpause these. So let's do that. Uh, and while I'm here, go on. Let's unpause this just so we're. Uh, we're capable of taking on more livestock as we need to. Okay, and with that, I, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching again, and I will see you next time.